Give me your take on the various candidates uh, in the U.S. Senate race on the Republican side. Well, which, which ones you want to talk about first? Uh, well, let's start, start out with Sue Loudon. My take on Mrs. Loudon, well, I'm not going to be voting for her, I can tell you that. Um, you know, I'm a former uh, finance chairman of the Nevada Republican Party and former uh, Hispanic coalition director and uh, former member of the Republican National Hispanic Assembly. And I can tell you that she was a huge disappointment to us. Um, we expected so much um, from Mrs. Loudon and she just didn't produce. You know, she talks about uh, shaking up Washington. That's what she talks about, shaking up Washington. Well, she didn't shake up her own party. How am I expected to believe that she's going to shake up Washington? All right, let's uh, take a look at Sharon Angle. Uh, Sharon Angle, you know, I'm not surprised that she has uh, surged up in the polls um, as she has. Uh, I've actually been uh, very surprised that uh, Mrs. Loudon has received, um, you know, such hefty uh, poll numbers in the last several months. Uh, that's been a very uh, huge uh, head scratcher for me. Um, you know, she tanked the Republican Party. You know, she talks about creating jobs. You know, she closed down the party doors. Um, how are we ever going to believe that she's going to do anything uh, major? You know, this is a serious election. You know, bis small businesses like mine depend on our legislators. We depend on uh, that they are telling us the truth about what they are going to do. And you can judge what somebody's going to do in the future by what, by what they've done in the past. And her most recent past is that in our party, she caused a lot of controversy. Uh, for example, with the, the Ron Paul people that, uh, you know, you know, there was uh, such a huge debacle with that. Um, so there's no trust there. Um, uh, as far as uh, the, the Republican National Hispanic Assembly, you know, that was dismantled under her watch. Uh, so instead of coalescing Hispanics under her leadership, she actually divided us. Uh, you know, there's so many other things that she did. Uh, the RNC labeled her uh, leadership as inept. You know, the Nevada Republican Party was labeled as inept by the RNC. This is just completely unheard of. They called us inept under her leadership. Okay, uh, we're running out of time here, but uh, your take on Sharon Angle. My take on Sharon Angle is that uh, she's a fighter, and I think that she is going to, uh, she's the one uh, to shake things up, uh, not Mrs. Loudon. Uh, do you think Danny Tarkanian is still in the mix? I do. I think uh, I think Danny is still in the mix. I really like Danny a lot. Um, I uh, wish him a lot of luck, and uh, we'll see what happens. I, you know, I'm undecided as to who I'm going to vote for. I'm leaning for Sharon Angle right now. You know, part of the concern with her was that uh, the Republicans believed that she could do a good job for us. Uh, we were concerned that she was not going to be able to garner uh, the amount of money that was going to be needed for the uh, to fight the Harry Reid machine. I think she's proven uh, in the last uh, few weeks that she. She is able to fight that fight, and uh, the money is uh, rolling in, not trickling in, rolling in for her, and um, it's, uh, it's very exciting. And that's where we have to leave. We thank you so much for being on the program. We hope you'll come back soon.